The chords used in Prison by System of a Down are drop C power chords. So as I explained in my previous video, a drop tuned power chord is two notes on the first and second string. You can simply bar your finger across the two strings, which is different to playing a power chord on the second or third string, where you would use your index and pinky finger or index and ring finger. The chords are open power chord, first fret power chord, third fret power chord, back to the first fret, and then finally the open power chord. That part of the riff ends on the first fret power chord on the second and third string. The second part of that riff is simply the open power chord and the first fret power chord. You also finish that riff with the first fret power chord on the second and third string. Now I put this song in my Metal Riffs for Beginners video because there's not a lot going on with the left hand. It's a lot of moving around from the same positions. Most of the effort is coming from your right arm, so you might want to start playing this at a slowed down tempo. Work your way up so you can finally get it at full speed. And you'll also notice that in between every power chord, I'm resting my right arm on the bridge of the guitar to cut out any unwanted noise. If you don't do that, you'll simply get this. And we don't want that. We want it to sound exactly like the riff in the actual song. This riff, originally played by Dio, was made famous later on by Killswitch Engage. They play Holy Diver in their traditional Killswitch Engage style, bouncing off the open note on the C string to make it a more metalcore, more up-to-date riff, like so. So the notes you'll be playing will be the 5th fret, the 7th fret and the 8th fret, followed by the 3rd fret. All of these notes will be bouncing back and forward from the open C string. Followed by power chords of the 5th and 3rd fret. You can also learn the harmony to the riff in this song, which is played exactly the same way as the original riff, just three steps up. So the notes will be 8, 10 and 12, finally finishing on the 7th fret. chord you may have just seen me play is a barred 8th fret on the low C string with the 4th string down holding the 10th fret. And then finally finish with a trademark from Killswitch Engage, a pinch harmonic. This riff is
is Children of Bodom, Are You Dead Yet? Again, I know it's not super easy. It's not exactly what you would call a beginner's metal riff. But I really think if you push yourself and you play it at a slow speed and work your way up, you can really nail this riff. <laughs> This riff mainly uses the low C string and the second G and C strings. The first part uses the frets 6, 3, 5 and 0 on the low C string. The next part of the riff is probably the most trickiest part of the whole song. It's a chromatic run using minor third riffs. That's the bit you'll probably struggle with the most as a beginner, but as I said before, slow it down, use a metronome and work your way up. Every time you start feeling comfortable with the riff, maybe up the metronome by 1% or 5 BPM and the more you do it, the better you'll get. Once you've done the chromatic run, you play the original riff again, and then the second time you play the third fret on the second string. Finally finished off with a power chord on the third fret on the second string. The second time around, you play the whole riff the same way, but you bar the chords. So instead of playing single notes, you bar the notes with your finger. Now this riff by Metallica is from the album Saint Anger. This is one of the first times Metallica started using low tunings and a lot of the songs on this CD will be in drop C. This riff encompasses low fretting on the low C string. The notes are played down the lower end of the neck to give them a more girthy sound, similar to what Black Sabbath would have done in their early days. The notes are 18th fret, 15th fret, 17th fret. In between the 18th, 15th and 17th, there is a open fret, the zero. Slow down, this riff has played us so. part of this riff is played on the other end of the neck now if you're finding it hard to bar the strings with your pinky finger you can use your index or your ring finger instead But it's definitely good practice to get that pinky finger stronger to make it a better weapon in your arsenal. So this riff is then followed by the third fret and the second fret. This is a song by As I Lay Dying, one of my favourite songs of theirs. It's got a very similar metalcore pattern, 
to a lot of drop C riffs. This is why I chose it for this video. <laughs> Now this riff uses the bottom three strings, the notes are the 5th fret, the 7th fret of the 2nd string, all the while bouncing between the bottom C string, the 3rd fret, the 5th fret on the 3rd string, the 3rd fret and the 5th fret on the 3rd string, the 3rd fret, the 2nd fret on the 3rd string, and then finally the 3rd fret and the 5th fret on the 2nd string, like so. The tricky bit of this riff is playing it at full speed. Playing it slowed down, as I said before, is the best way to get your riffs and your right hand up to full speed. You can also alternate the riff if you can't play it at full speed down picked, like so. Alternate picking is still something I even have a problem with, as early in my guitar career, I would always downpick every riff. I suppose I like Master of Puppets too much, so I would always downpick every riff I learned. So for you, you can do it either way. If you feel more comfortable downpicking, then feel free to do that. If not, play alternated and you can always work your way up with a metronome. <laughs> concludes this video guys. Thanks again for watching part two of my top five drop C metal riffs for beginners. Wow that's a mouthful. I really appreciate it again. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like. Please subscribe. Drop me any comments if you need to know anything in the bottom. I do have tabs for these songs so I can post them if you need me to. Thanks again guys. See you soon.